everybody, my name is Miss Sydney and today I'm going to be talking about how this turns into this. All right, so there are actually two different ways that you are able to hatch chicks. The first being that the mother hen sits on them and the second being that the eggs are all put into a machine called an incubator, which is what we did. And what an incubator does is it keeps the eggs nice and warm for exactly 21 days until the eggs hatch. Alright, so while a chick is inside of an egg, it's called an embryo. And to make sure that there is an embryo inside of each egg, we have to do something called candling. All you need to do to candle an egg is to get the egg in a dark area that you want to candle and a flashlight. So what you're going to do is turn on your flashlight and just put the egg on top. And now you see, you cannot see anything in this egg. It's completely empty. So that means that there is not a chick growing inside at the moment. But we already knew that because I had just got this egg out of the chicken coop this morning. So I know that there was going to be nothing in it. But after a few days, what you should see is an actual embryo starting to grow. And you'll see veins start to grow in, like you see here. Now I would just like to add in, whenever you are candling an older egg, about at the week and a half or two week, two and a half week mark, you're going to want to be very careful and do not turn the egg when you pick it up because there's an air bubble inside of the egg that lets the chick breathe and if you turn it over the wrong way then the chick will not be able to breathe so you just need to make sure to be very careful when you candle it later at a stage egg now since a chick spends the first three weeks of its life inside of an egg you may be wondering what does a chick eat while it's in there well, the chicks actually eat the yolk, which is a little orange circle when you crack open an egg. The chicks eat that when it's inside of the egg. Now on the 21st day, when the chick starts to come out of the shell, you'll start hearing a little peeping, and then you'll know that it's about to start breaking through the egg shell. Now the process of a chick hatching can take anywhere from a few minutes to just a couple hours. Now something that helps the chick break out of the shell is something on the end of its beak called an egg tooth, which is just a tiny little point that will fall off a couple days after the chick is born. Our chicks are already three days old and their egg teeth have already fallen off, so I'll insert a picture of one right here for you to see. Now when chicks are born, the females are called pullets and the males are called cockles, but it's actually impossible to tell which one is which until they're a few weeks old. So when chicks are born, their mouth is way too small for regular chicken food. So we have to buy them special food, which is all ground up and has all the nutrients they need. See how it's more like a powder? In my last video, the normal chickens eat like full seeds. Now when chicks are hatched by their mother, they usually stay with their mother until they're about six to eight weeks old. But since they were hatched in an incubator, they will stay with us and we will be their mom for a couple months. Or just until they're big enough to go live outside with the other chickens. All right, so believe it or not, this is actually some of the chicks' very first time outside. And so we have them in this box just so they won't run away because we have no fence. And that's because we didn't put them in the coop because um, the other chickens probably wouldn't know how to handle it. So this is a chick's very first reaction to stepping on grass for the first time. He's a little bit hesitant. He, he's not really sure what to do. Oh, look at him. So he has made his way over to the dandelions. And dandelions not only are a symbol of the military child, but they're also highly nutritious for chicks and chickens alike. All right, so that is all for today. Make sure you comment something down below that you learned today. Thanks for watching, bye.